And to finish off our show today, we're going to talk about a hot topic in today's time, billionaires. So re recently, a young congresswoman, who shall not be named because she has way too much popularity, uh, recently said that the existence of billionaires is a reflection of an immoral society. Uh, it's brought up some very interesting questions because I can kind of see where that view comes from. Uh, it's a very socialist view. It's very critical of capitalism. Uh, it's very much that the kind of vast in, uh, inequalities of wealth are unjustified. And of course, the Republican response is, you need billionaires, right? It's just the end result. Uh, but what you really should be looking at is how poor people are, standard of living is rising, and how you know the, the wealthiest people create jobs and uh, they invest in new companies and you just have the whole world is getting better because of capitalism. And so why do you care how much money someone else makes? You should really only focus on improving yourself and succeeding. Standard Republican libertarian view on billionaires and capitalism in general. Where on the other side, on the Democrat side, you see kind of this idea that Consolidation of wealth is bad, right? That too much money is flowing in one direction while the majority of people are struggling to make ends meet. Yes, you might have a middle class, but it could be shrinking. Uh, not sure how true that is, mixed data. So the idea is that, look, there's a lot of problems that need to be solved. Where is the money to solve them? It's in the billionaires, right? Or at least a nice chunk of it is, right? So why don't we tax them more and why don't we get them to contribute more to society and help us you know, solve many of the social issues that exist. So I think a more reasonable take, um, and of course everyone thinks they're being reasonable, so that doesn't really mean anything, but I think a more reasonable take is that actually it's immoral to be a billionaire. Forget the system. Capitalist system has proven itself, it works. I think that as a society, it's weird that we worship wealth and that we worship billionaires. Because I think there is a point to be made, and I think it's a very valid moral point, is why do you hold on to that much money? I think one of the core problems with billionaires is people don't understand the scale, right? And uh, this is just, in general, people can't get their mind around the size of a billion, right? So they will, millionaires, billionaires, what's the difference, right? Um, and it is a fair argument because you go after the billionaires, there's no more billionaires. The socialist philosophy will always start cutting off the top. So it'll just keep going down until you get to the worst common denominator. So I think it's wrong to tax billionaires or to force billionaires to give up their wealth. But I think we as a society can consider being a billionaire a little bit of a dick move, right? And I really hope I never become a billionaire. I would feel genuinely guilty about it because there's so much things that need to get done. There's so many people that need to be helped and supported that anything over my living income, I really feel I'd want to be either investing in new businesses because business is a great way to stimulate poor economies, to get people jobs. Um, but that wouldn't be my personal wealth then. Um, and also, uh, I think there's just so much humanitarian work, desperate situations that need to be addressed right away. So I think as a society, we can have the best of both worlds. We can be critical of billionaires without demanding that they give us more money because that's incredibly self-serving, but expecting of them a higher standard of how they use their money. And I think that's why actually Bill Gates and Warren Buffett with their giving pledge are setting an excellent standard, whether or not with you, if you agree with how they're spending the money, the point is, is they're not keeping it just for themselves. They're investing that money into the betterment of all people. I also think Elon Musk, who's investing his money to try to get us off planet, to try to improve our transportation. I think those are the kind of things that we should be expecting billionaires to do. Um, so, I just wanted to give a kind of different take on billionaires. I think that it's a bit too much money to be in the hands of one person. I think ultimately that's what it is. I don't think anyone could ever justify deserving a billion dollars 
because I think there's just way too many other factors that got him there. Uh, there's, there's too much unattributed value that they're collecting on that can and probably should go to other people along the chain. That being said, force will ultimately lead to more force. And so completely against the idea of forcing them to do anything. But I think as a society, we can apply moral pressure and peer pressure to encourage people not to stay billionaires, even if they become billionaires. And that is my billion dollar thought of the day.